watching a master at work. work, 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 work. You ready? Let's go. Bears gonna beat them coach. Who that? Who that? You said the Bears was gonna beat them coach. Oh, I did. Yeah, I who, did. Who that? I can be wrong sometimes. And you, and you definitely was. I can be wrong, week. man. And you're right. I mean, I protected Grossman. I'm done. You done? Grossman, I'm through with you, man. Grossman, Rex, I'm through with you. But they ain't through with us. UPTV, seven o'clock Friday night. What it mean? Tell it like it is. Welcome, everybody. Hey, Stack Girl, how you doing? Thumbs up from Stack Girl. Hey, shout out to Stack Girl. Big Joe. Dollar Bill. Johnny Dollar. How's everybody doing? Well, well Joe, Super Bowl's over with me. Super Bowl's over. Super Bowl's look, over. look at our background. Look at our background. Yeah. yeah. Look at it. Hold on. Let me rub it. Let me rub it. Can we, get uh, on, can we get on with the show, man? Can we get can we get on with the show? I thought this was the can show, we though. Get on, man, the, the game over with. I know, and we here to talk about it. Well, let's go. Let's talk about this. All right. You know, the game over with. Man. Where you get the helmet at anyway? Oh, that's uh, courtesy of uh, first of all the folks over at the University of Illinois, the uh, athletic department. Jack Trudeau is the autograph. UK disrespect is just leaving home, eh? <laughs> Keep talking. Right, nothing in the world that I won't do. I'll give the world to you if you want me to. I'll do anything. Nothing in the world that I won't do. I'll give the world to you if you want me to. I'll do anything. Who do you get to talking about breakfast? Both things the best. Time it is. What is? I think we got a new superhero. There's Spider Man. Uh, Superman. There's Superman. Uh, Wonder Woman. One. Well, no, we're going to talk about Wonder Woman today. Uh, man, let me tell you something. I like Wonder Woman. Man. The boots and the invisible plant. <laughs> and the bracelet. Is he flying around? In? Yeah. Let me show you. Yeah. But uh, Batman. Yeah. Green Hornet. I used to get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that too. 
But now we got a new superhero. If you ever want something messed up in your life, if your marriage is going good, you want somebody to come in and destroy it. Don't fear. Gross man is here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, y'all. That's y'all superhero. That I, is you know what? I went for Bears last week. I was wrong, man. I was wrong. I was wrong, man. I was wrong. Here, man, get something to drink. Oh, man. Get, you want something to drink? Look for me. You, you want something to drink? Man, you need to come back to the baby. You know. You weren't wrong. You lose a win. You lose a win, son. That's right. You weren't wrong, though. You know what? You told it like it is. And what's the name of the show? Yeah, man. Tell it like it is. And you, t- and, you uh, I, and you you roll with gross. I roll with him. I you mean, roll with no him. matter what you indie fans called in and said, I stuck with him. You did. I made a mistake, but people make mistakes, man. And, you know, I'm, I'm human. Colts fans. I'm human. Woohoo! Colts fans. We didn't make any mistakes, did we? But we're not here to gloat. We're not here to rub it in the right. Bears fans' face. 29-17, Colts, Super Bowl champs, well, Bears, Super Bowl Bears, champs. I think it was 19. Give Bears all their points. Man. They only had 17. They only had 17. Well, I think it's 19. But let me explain something to you. Do that. Gross man showed up on the scene right at the nick of time because I was pretty nervous when the game started. Ooh, man. 23. Man. 23. You know what, man, when that happened? You thought I was a little kid in the candy store because I jumped up. I think I put a hole in dude's house in the ceiling. Did you? I think I put a hole in the rooftop. Well, I tell you what. He put a hole in the special teams work. Dangerous dude, man. He's Devin Hester is who we're talking about. He's going to be dangerous for a long time, people. Yes, he is. Long time. You know, but we want to hear. Wait a minute. Last week. Yeah. I, I Where is, what, what was his name? What was his name? Daquan. Daquan. Where you at? 328-8280. Yeah. I think you called about five times. Five. Right. Just try to change your name. Yeah. Come on. Who followed for that? Man, we know you script. Right. But the other thing, then we started off Peyton Manning. One for four with an interception. Bears had it. Hand off Thomas uh, Jones. He goes 53 yards. Actually, no, the score is 14 to six. Bears. Man. Hey, hey, they came back, man. They came back, and Thomas Jones with that big run. But then, that new superhero out of Chicago showed up. Always comes back to him, Thomas Jones. Burr, 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 burr. Gross, Gross man. man. Yeah, it always comes back to him. Man. Yeah, it does. But, uh, but uh, man, look here, we got a caller. We got a caller. We got a caller. Three two eight eight two eight zero. Tell it like it is. UPTV Channel Six. What's your name, caller? Where you calling from? Tell like it is. Caller? Hello. Are you there? Not. That must have been Ron Turner. Yeah. He was trying to get the bright play in the Rex. Gross, man. We can't be going, though. Yo. I'm sorry. Now, I, come I on, know. man. I, you going to do so many gross man jokes now. Kick a man when he dies. Come on, man. I won't kick a man. Come on, man. Right. You know what, though? Earlier, uh, me and you were talking about uh, Sexy Rexy. And you got to do Sports Illustrated. Yeah. If, uh, if you haven't had a chance, you need to go out and pick up Sports Illustrated. Check this out. Dude wrote something about Rex. It was, woo! He called him Rex with the W. W-R-E-C-K-S. Rex! Grossman. Man. He said he was out there on the field with oven mitts and ski boots. That's how bad he did. It was terrible, man. I was scared. But call us, 328-8280. We got one. Tell it like it is. UPTV Channel 6. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Tell it like it is. That's my name. is Tego. Tego, what's happening? What's happening, bro? What's going on, man? Now, you saw the I don't game know, last man. Week. What? Yeah, turn it down, son, bro. Now, you yeah, you got to turn TV down. Be sure to turn TV down now. I know you want to hear yourself, man. I apologize, bro. No problem. Now, man, look here. What you think about the game last bro. week, Tago? Now, why did you believe in uh, the Bears, man? You know they didn't stand a chance. Now, look. Tell me that. Now, you know, now, me and you was watching the game together. Okay, so now when, when Hester ran that ball back, first play of the game, 
you was about ready to get up on out the house, and, you know, head to the crib. So, you know, hey, things happen, man. I'm a Bear fan. And a Cub man and a Bud man. Yeah, I don't drink Bud. You don't? That don't make you a bad person for being a Bear fan. It doesn't. And so, uh, you know, you're a Chicagoan. So what is it about Chicago that you didn't, you know, come on, man. You're a Chicagoan, man. Tell it, tell it like it is, Tango. Well, you're right. I can't argue with you. They well, got it handed to them. Well, we appreciate you, you calling Tango. And telling it like it is. You hit us back. 328-8280. Thanks, bro. Folks out there, if you want to make a comment about Super Bowl 41 or anything, we're going to talk about other things tonight. Sure can. We just ain't going to ride on Super Bowl 41. Sure but we got to wrap it up because we spent an hour and a half last week. Yeah, man. Super Bowl 41. Yeah, you know, Tell it like on. it is. A lot of things going on. A lot of things going on. Now, we talked about the bad part of Super Bowl 41. Yeah, let's get some good things. Let's even, talk about even, some good even things. Even if it ain't my team, let's get some good things, man. Winning with class. Yeah. Tony Jundon, Peyton Manning. Winning with class. First of all, Tony, first African-American, professional, NFL coach. Kind of favor a little bit, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to try to see if I get hold. We kind of, me and Tony kind of resemble each other a little bit. Yeah. Stop right there. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Tony Dungy, first African-American head coach to win the Super Bowl. Now, last year, he went through the tragedy, lost his son. Yeah, that was a bad thing. Yeah, and then they got beat by the Steelers when that kicker who gets liquored up, as Peyton Manning would say, and now, one year later, who's going to Disney World? Tony D. Colts. Colts, Roger Grove. But Peyton Manning has been class all the way. way. Yeah. First round pick, as we talk he's about. He's too good, though. Right. He's too good, man. Now, I mean, yeah, he shows class when he's out in public. Yeah. He, I mean, you know, which is cool. But, man, something, something's up with Peyton now. Come he's on. He's a robot. Man, you didn't know he was a robot? I bet you when he gets home and closes the doors, man, I he's, bet he's something else. Not well, what, what it is when he closes the doors. Man. Ain't nobody that perfect, man. He's a robot. Okay. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. But I tell you what, if, you know, people say that he's no more deserving to win than anybody else, and they're right. That's why he went out there and performed. He played good. On the biggest stage. He played good. Heck of a game. Yeah. I really like the way he went out there and he took what the Bears gave him. Worked his team down the field. 81 offensive plays. Yeah. That's unheard of. But you know what, though? Here's the thing with Indy. I mean, they 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 didn't try to go downfield except once, and that was it. He got an interception. Mm -hmm. Okay, they took what the Bears gave him. Just like, they, hey, we're going to take what they gave him. The running back, Joseph Adai, said after the game, he came in the huddle and told Peyton, said, hey, underneath passes are open all day. Right. All day. And they were. And it worked. You know what? That's the worst Bears defense, and you gotta agree. You gotta agree that I've seen and we've seen all year. I was one quarterback sack, yeah. one, yeah. no blitzing. Yeah. I mean, they're the 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 cornerbacks are playing 15 yards off the receiver. Yeah. Come on, man. You know this is Super Bowl. But you gotta look at it this way: the Bears defense only gave up 22 points. 22 points. To the high power Colts offense. Mm. I know they had 81 plays, but that was also the 81 plays, plays the Colts had were a function of the Bears offense. Yeah. The Bears had, they were only three for 10 on third down. So, you know, there you have it. Well. You know, but to the victors go the spoils, yeah. and to the spoils go the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah. Tony Dungy. Did I say Dungy? No, you keep saying his name wrong. I keep saying Tony Dungy. Dungy. You know, give give kudos. What's in my cup? Watch it, man. Okay. You know, TV. We are on TV. Give kudos to the coach running backs, man. That double-headed cast they were doing, man. Well, you know. And they could have been MVPs. Easy. Speaking. Real easy. Speaking of MVP. Now, we know Peyton hoisted the trophy, and Peyton was the MVP. He got the new Cadillac. Say that one more time. He got the new Cadillac. Is that how he said it? When man, Peyton ain't no Cadillac, man. 
Wait a minute, though. Man painted in a Cadillac, man. He's a, but he's a. What do you think he gonna do to the Cadillac, though? Uh, he got a truck, though. He got the. But what do you think he gonna do to the Cadillac, man? Uh, he he's probably gonna trick it out. He pimp, gonna... he gonna get his ride, pimp. <laughs> man, Payne gonna take that truck to Home Depot <laughs> and get him some uh, lumber or something and, and build, build something. Build something in the back of a Cadillac truck, y'all. He's gonna build something for Eli because Eli needs to work. With yeah, him. He, yeah, he'll build Eli a Target ramp, a Target wall or something. <laughs> But you talked about the two-headed monster. Joseph Adai, Rhodes, Dominic Rhodes. You've got to take that. Rhodes out. ran for, what, 113 yards. And Joseph Adai had 10 catches for, like, 66 they and 77. Draw plays, screen plays, you know, in and out, cut. I mean, it was, it was Bears didn't, didn't try to stop. Which takes us to our next issue, the MVP. Now, I said Peyton last week. Right. Last week. Don't tell it like it is. Last week, I'll tell it like it is. I, I said, Colts will win 34-17. Difference maker was Dwight Freeney, and the MVP was Peyton Manning. But. I think I nailed it. But. I th- Freeney, you didn't hear Freeney's name too much. Fumble recovery after Bob Sanders. Okay, wow. One. But I'm just saying, Freeney, he wasn't, you know, you didn't hear Freeney's name like you hey. thought you were going to hear Freeney's name. Hold on a second. We got a caller, man. Call him. What's your name? Tell it like it is. Uh, yes, this is Tego again. What's I up, just want to know, how can you guys compare this season Bears defense to the 85 Bears? They don't stand a chance. There's, There's no, no comparison. There's no comparison that at all. That was driven by the national media trying to create a story for this particular Super Bowl, but there is no comparison. None. That's an insult to the 85 Bears. None. Not yes, sir, it is, because the 85 Bears, they dominated from start to finish. I agree. This, this season, Bears defense wore down towards the end of the season. They was a good defense, but they're a long way from being a great defense. Right. They missed the presence of Tommy Harris and Mike Brown. Excellent point, Tango. And it showed in the game. Yeah, yeah, like because on the deep pass yeah. to uh, Reggie Wayne, yeah. Mike Brown's in the game, that doesn't happen. Right. You know. That play doesn't happen with Mike Brown, and, and you get more pressure with Tommy and, Harris and in the game. Just it up. But they weren't in the game. And, and after that, so, after that little mishap on defense, that's when the cornerbacks start going back, playing back 15 yards off the receivers, and they were just eating up the end. Hey, thanks for coming. And, I, Thank and I also have one more, one more point. What's that? The 85 Bears hit a dominant pass rush. They're front four. Oh, the they would have got more than one sack on the quarterback. Oh yeah. Richard no matter how quick of a release Peyton Manning had, oh, yeah. they would have been all over him. Well, they, they were a blitz defense. They hit him in the mouth football. And that's what this year's Bears was. Not not as aggressive as 85, but they didn't show that. They didn't show that Super Bowl Sunday. They couldn't stop the run. They gave up almost 200 yards on the ground. They was looking for Manning to pass. throw the ball, and the coach controlled the game on the ground. Now, when you play the cover two so far back where Chicago was, anybody can run on anybody. Yeah. Well, I agree with you on that. Because if you think about what happened in that game, first quarter, second quarter, those runs, those, those the Colts were running right. three yards, four yards here. But come fourth quarter, them was seven, eight yards. Mm-hmm. That's true. Because the guys were getting tired of trying to come up from the, the secondary position and make plays. This and last thing, like my buddy said about that, ground and pound, Smash mouth football. That's it, man. That's it. Thanks Tango, thanks for calling, man. Tell it like it is. All right, later. Holler at us next week. Excellent points. But back to what we were talking about earlier. MVP. We said Peyton Manning. I said it. Yeah, you said it. But we just talked about two-headed monster, the yep. Colts. Who did you – who was your selection for MVP at the end of the game? Uh, well, I think Dominic Rose really, you know, opened up that offense. Yeah. I think he, you know, second string running back. I think he came in there, and I mean, he was running hard. Yes. I mean, anyone got in front of Dominic Rose, you was going to get ran over. Right. He was running hard. And and the dive, he's doing his thing too. Ten catches. I mean, you, he's, he's catching the ball five yards out and running for 15 down the field. Right. So, it could have been a co-MVP with them two guys. Could have been. Could have been. I mean, I look at, you know, we talk about the offensive side of the ball a lot, but – for the Colts, you could have also given that MVP to Bob Sanders. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. Bob Sanders, first of all, the big hit on Cedric Benson for the fumble. And Benson, I'm not even going to get into him. Yeah. 
he might as well be like Benson to go clean somebody's house. Yeah, he, uh, because two plays in the Super Bowl, you walk off the field, get out of here. Then Sanders, the big interception on the underthrow to Barrier yep. in the fourth quarter. He was a difference maker. I think I also mentioned his name last week, but I'm not going to gloat. Mm, please. I'm not going to brag. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I won't. Please don't. But there was a plethora of guys who could have been MVP. Yeah, I said that. Man, I don't even know what plethora means. Now, you got to start using some words I know what you're talking about. I'm using them $100 words that you're not accustomed to come from Georgetown, are you? Well, there you go. Don't you talk about I'm, Georgetown. I know last week you was going to come over the table on me. on you, boy. Whoa there, big fella. You know, but speaking of running backs, mm-hmm. Benson, they're paying him big money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now there's talks about getting rid of Thomas Jones. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something right now. NFL football. You need cut back running backs. You need a running back that can make people miss. Them, them run straight type of runners like Benson where he can't cut and make defenders miss, he's not going to fit with Chicago. Look at, the, look at the New Orleans Saints, Reggie Bush, cut back runner. He can make you miss. Look at the uh, Jaguars running backs, make you miss. Fred, Fred Taylor. And then the Jones, little, Drew, Jones, Drew, 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 Drew. You got to make these big guys miss. You can't run over these. 22-year-old coming out of college and these veterans like Ray Lewis inspect you're going to go down the field. Yeah. You got to be able to cut back. And Thomas Jones, that's what he does. Right. He cuts back. He gets yards. I agree. He's a good slash runner. Well, you know, we're going to slash in a second. We'll go to a little uh, break and do some talking sports, WBCP, a little thing we like to do on the radio. 328-8280, y'all. Give us a call. And when we come back from the break, we'll check out a little talking sports. Now, we talked a little bit about the halftime show last week. Yeah. The little fella. Yeah. The little purple fella. Mm-hmm. And he got he played in the rain. Do you think they got, he got extra money for that? Bet you he did. Well, he kept his do-rag on. Well, you that. know, that's why Prince got paid a little extra chips for in the rain, you know? He he, I can just imagine what he told whoever's running that. I ain't going out there. And, you know, I just got this. I ain't going out there like that, okay? Please. I agree. So we're going to go to this break, do some talking sports from WBCP, and when we come back, we talk a little bit more about the little fella. Super Bowl commercial, all that. Tell it like it is. UPTV, Channel 6. Holler at us when we come back from this break. Be back, y'all. Good afternoon, sports fans. It's time for another edition of Talking Sports. Talking Sports, WBCP 1580. Joe Stovall. And the man who told you last week what Peyton Manning was going to do. What'd you say, Sergeant Rock? He's going to dink him to death. And what'd he do? He dunk him to death. <laughs> he treated him like a donut with a cup of coffee. Yes, he did. Yes. Dink or dunk? See, see, didn't nobody believe what I told him last week. Then you know what they're going to start doing? They're going to start respecting. They should. Talking Sports Let's WBCP. See. We call it Talking Sports because people call in and talk to us about sports. But we're just not sitting in here rambling off like we at the beauty shop or something. Like we don't know nothing. Right. Hey. Girl, you see that game? Yeah, I did. For real, though. Colts. Excellent ball game. Colts 29, Bears 17. Now, I said 34-17. You were close. We got got the list over here that you made from last week. Of Of the predictions? Of the predictions. I got it right here. The Karnak prediction. Let's see, Bundy came up real close, 24-10. Mm-hmm. Smokey was, uh, no, the rest of them were Bear fans, so we ain't going to even bother to look at that. But you know what? Read off the Bear fans anyway, because, you know, all year we've had to listen to them. Okay, uh, Smokey said 26-31 Bears. Mm-hmm. Dwayne said 28-34 Bears. DLB said 24-27 Bears. And what's that, Unruly Mike or something like that? Oh, Uncle Mike. Oh, Uncle Mike. I'm sorry, yeah, Uncle Mike. Mike. I'm very sorry. <laughs> he just threw his hands up, said 28-28. He really didn't care who won. It was a win-win situation for Uncle Mike. Reverend Chambers gave the Bears 10, 10 points. He gave the Colts unlimited, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Tracy P, 24-30, Bears. So, you guys don't know your football. You were wrong. You don't know your football. Welcome back, y'all. 
tell it like it is. Joe Stovall, Johnny Dollar, Super Bowl weekend is over with. We got to move on. Yeah, we got to move we on. We got to move on. Before we move on, though, like I said, when we went to our first break, we were talking about the little fella, the little teeny tiny, teeny, teeny tiny, tiny, the little prince dude. In the rain, Prince. Yeah, I want to rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. Was he like that? I don't know. <laughs> I was in the kitchen when he came on. <laughs> oh, man. Rank his performance. Did you see it? Did you oh, check yeah. it out? Yeah, man. Did you enjoy it? Oh, uh, you know, hey, uh, Prince is a man. Hey, he can't throw no bad performance with me, man. Right. You know, that's what he do. He do his thing. He do. He do his thing. Prince gets down. And he got down. You know, and rain didn't phase him. Now, the one thing I do want to know, man. Rain didn't phase that man. What about the little shot, the, the, the silhouette behind the curtain with the shadow and he had the guitar? Use your imagination. I ain't in that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, we said that the little cheeks might have came yeah, out. But yeah, I ain't, hey, I, I ain't saying that. We going to let it go? You know what? There but, is some. <laughs> but, but, Joe. What, man? That commercials, man. The commercials. Come on, man. The Snickers commercial. Let me just tell you this right <laughs> here. I'm not smiling. I'm not laughing. If you ever see me with a Snicker ball. You ain't got to worry about me getting on the other end. Bet, man. Because I ain't got enough chess hairs to be pulling man, off. Man, look here. Talking about I'm going to do something manly. Oh, man. And, and you no, know, that, that there, I was it when right. I saw that. Right. But you know, they, they had to pull that. They had to take yeah, that ass gone. That, that ass is up. A little too risque. Yeah, yeah. You know. Is. And what was your favorite Super Bowl commercial, man? My favorite was that. That Snickers? That Snickers. And you know, the dude with the hair wrapped around us. What kind, man, what kind of hair dude was that? I don't know. That was old Regis. Looked like, a, looked like one of our buddy Hank. You know, Anthony Allen. He had a, <laughs> I remember buddy Hank had, Anthony Allen had a, you know, he, his, his hair comes off his arms and wrapped around his. Woo! Double A, I hope you ain't listening to that, but. Well, if he is, Double A, hit us at 328-8280. Call in if that, you don't wear a wraparound, do I know you, you don't wear it. Tell it like it is, UPTV, yeah. Channel 6. Yeah. Hit us, 328-8280. Right. Now, my favorite commercial, actually, since it was Black History Month, you got the, the, the Coca-Cola commercial with a Coke bottle right. just changing. Right. That was my favorite commercial. You yeah. know, I enjoyed that, but you know, I'm different. You so, you so sensitive. He is so sensitive. I just like the, he the, is so sensitive. the historical stuff. But, you know, man. it's over, man. The season is over. Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl. Who cares about the Pro Bowl? Yeah. And, you know, it, Pro Bowl is nothing like, like the All-Star game. or, or no, you know, it's, it's just vac- got, a family vacation. That's what it is. The end of that's the year, it. you get a reward. You get to go to Hawaii, yeah. kick it out there. That's well, if the is. family doesn't go anywhere, we'll just bring your family. Family, come on out to Hawaii, Honolulu. Yeah. So the game is tomorrow, AFC, yep. NFC. But let's skip past that. Super Bowl 42, who you rolling with? I know you're Bear fans, so come on Them now. Bears, I'm going to tell you all something. Tell me what's going to happen, Super Bowl 42. Bears get a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Defense is still strong. Right. Bears get a quarterback, people. They will be there, and they could be there the again. Bear. Wait a minute. This is, how, this is what I think of Barry. Tell you, and I'm gonna just say this. Oh man, you is wrong for that. That you know what? What? Well, I, I, I get it. I get it. Go ahead. Tell me. Tell me this. Tell I'm gonna me. Tell you this. Whoever called last week and said put uh the third string in Orton, I wish they would have, y'all. I don't know if you out there. And you he said, and you said that guy was drinking. And I needed whoever you were three two eight eight two eight zero. I agree. I agree. Cal Orton should have been playing, but you say Bears next year. He's a Viking fan. That is terrible. Let's this out like this. Man. Now, now, there, there it is. There it is. Man, that blanket. Where you wrapped like a snail? I was wrapped. I was wrapped up in it. Man, move that snake blanket off the table, man. Ooh. Man. Ooh. Minnesota Viking. Come on. That's what I'm riding with. Yeah. Next okay. year. But look, I'm gonna throw the blanket. Please. I'm gonna throw it on top of the bear. Get rid cup. of it. Season's over. Over with. Done with. Good job, Chicago. You played good. You went the distance. Indianapolis, congratulations. Did you see the parade on TV? Uh, no, my TV froze. Yeah. I had done thought. Big time parade, man. Big time parade. Big time parade. Speaking of parades, there's a parade of coaches. Yeah. 
We got a lot of new coaches in the mm. NFL. Big surprises, man. Wade Phillips is the coach of the Dallas Cowboys. I did not see it. He didn't either. I didn't see that. He didn't either. I didn't see that coming. Wade Phillips? I didn't see that coming. He better walk it Where out. Where he been? Where has he been? Well, you know, he was the defensive coordinator for the San Diego Chargers. Yeah. Man. You know. But him as the head coach, Wade Phillips. Now that's Bums boy. Yep. And now we're talking about him going down to Dallas to run the Cowboys with well, Jerry Jones. Well, Jerry Jones got somebody. And T.O. That's as it. That's it. It's over with. It's over with. Now, here's the interesting thing. He's the oldest one of the group. Six new coaches. Wade Phillips is 59. Everybody, the, old, the next oldest coach is about 46. A lot of young people. What's the young man's game, man? But wait a minute. Let's flip it on the young side. The Oakland Raiders hired a 31-year-old coach, Lane Kiffin. I think they're trying to go back to Bill Cowers, trying to, you know, get some of his mojo. You know, when Bill Cowers started with Pittsburgh, he was a young cat. Here goes Pittsburgh, Bill, hired another young cat. Well, Pittsburgh hired Mike Tomlin. He's 34. Yeah. He's a coordinator for who, he, who, what team? Minnesota Vikings. Mike Tomlin. Yeah. So he's taking over in Pittsburgh. Nothing to brag about. Cam Cameron. He was the offensive coordinator for San Diego. So San Diego lost both their coordinators. So do you think that's that makes San Diego a better team or, or worse? Well, heck, uh, Kirk Cameron could have been the offensive coordinator for uh, San Diego with LT cut back that there. Run up. Right, so it doesn't matter. But Cam Cameron goes down to Miami now that uh, your, your guy, Nick Saban. Yep. Nick Saban's gone to Alabama, coach there, getting $32 million, an eight year guaranteed contract. Man. That's crazy. What are we doing sitting here? Man. Let's go, coach. But Ooh, I don't think my job. Ken Wizenheit, Wizenheart, Wizenhunt, Wizen, Wizen Blunt. He's coaching the Cardinals because the Bears are who we thought they were, and they got Denny Green fired, so he's gone. Denny Green's gone. The Falcons, Bobby Petrino, leaves Louisville for four point five million dollars a year. And now, what do you think about that? I don't think I don't think. Yeah, play the in coach your game. Oh, man, right. I don't think that was a good move. And I'm gonna say this: I'm not a Bear fan, but Lovey Smith, bring it, should get no less than five million. With a M, not a B, like Dr. Evil. Five million. He should get five million minimum a Man. year. And he deserves it. He man. deserves it because Bobby Petrino. He deserves it. Good college coach ain't proved. Dilly squat. Nothing. And now he's going down to the Falcons. So those are coaching changes. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? The NFL season is over. Is over. Done with. It's a wrap. The light. Turn it off. Cut it off. 328-8280, y'all. Football's over with. Football's done. NASCAR's tomorrow. <laughs> NASCAR starts tomorrow. Hold on a second. Man, the way you looked in the head last week, I don't know if you should. Oh, man. Four left turns. I could be, instead of Ricky Bobby, I could be like Joe Bobby. I don't think your hands fit around the stern wheel, man. <laughs> I'd have levers. Yeah, you need one of them fork trucks. That yeah. girl, you don't think I could drive NASCAR? No. See, I got one fan. Yep. She said that she think I. NASCAR fans, what you think? Who's gonna win the big Daytona 500 tomorrow? Three two eight eight two eighty. Wow. You think that's a NASCAR fan? It might be. Man, you know. You know Tony or, or Stewart. Either, either that or Tango again. Right, Tony Stewart. I got that. Tango can't call three times. I don't know, man. He's lonely. Yeah. Or is he a heck of a sports fan? You know there are a lot of people who are heck of sports fans <laughs> out there. <laughs> Tell it like it is. UPTV, Channel 6, 328-8280. Phone lines are open. Uh, you know what? Now, last week we talked about the quality of the set. Yeah. If you notice, we got the yeah. Colts. Looks nice, man. Looks beautiful. Yeah, she done an excellent, excellent, excellent job. Director, producer is doing a great Visible tape. Not falling at all. Nope. Nope. We got a caller. We got a caller. Caller. Welcome to Tell Like It Is. What's your name? Hey, my name's Larry. Hey, Larry. What's happening? Yeah, I was just curious. We're talking about this Indiana and Bears. That game's been over with since, what, 
Saturday, Sunday. What about the but look, on the week? But look, Larry, we only we on once a week, man. We ain't big time yet. We ain't on Monday through Friday. And we're through talking about it, Larry. We just wrapped we it done. up. The season's over. What do you want to talk about? You said you guys were done like 30 minutes ago, but let's talk about Illinois, Indiana. What we what's the outcome talk, of that game? I'm glad. You know what? That's an excellent segue, Larry. I'm going to talk about Illinois, Indiana. Illinois goes to the Assembly Hall tomorrow. Take on the Hoosiers. Illinois is 18 and 8, 6 and 5 in the Big Ten. Yep. Hoosiers, 16 and 6, 6 and 3 in the Big Ten. Yep. Hoosiers just lost at Iowa City yep. to the Hawkeyes, 81 75. Yep. Big game. Remember what happened last time? Indiana came here, 51 43. Illinois grinded it out. Larry, give me what do you think is going to happen tomorrow? The keys to the game, Illinois, Indiana. Illinois winning by four. Illinois by four. In Bloomington, huh? In Bloomington, Illinois by four. Who's going to be our MVP for the fight in the lineup? I'll have to go with Carter. You're going to go with Warren Carter having a big game against the Hoosiers. Illinois by four. Exactly. That's going to be interesting. You know, they're going to have to tough it out. Got you, man. You know, because this game, to me, Larry, this game, I think, is a swing game as to whether Illinois gets in the NCAA tournament. Consistency is the key. They got five games left. And the, and the, and the last five games, it's in Illinois' favor. They get past Indiana, it's they, in their favor. They got Northwestern at home, Michigan at home. Then they go on the road to Penn State, should get that one. It's a new last game. game of the season at Iowa. That'll be a tough one. But if they can win that game tomorrow, yeah. And went out the rest of the way, fighting the line out back in the NCAA tournament. Appreciate you calling, Larry. Tell it like it is. Enjoy the game tomorrow, 12 noon, Illini and in Indiana. See you, buddy. Now, you know, Larry brought up. Larry said he's tired of football. He's tired of football. He said, man, get off football. And you know what? And that's the Larry sick. Larry said, I'm tired, man. What the heck are these guys what is, football man, foot, over the, with? The game is over. Get it off of him. Right, let me. I'm sorry, Larry. We're slow on telling like that. Larry called here trying to check somebody too. Larry said, man, look at here. Larry, you. Larry tried to check with him. Man, look at here. And he did. Yeah, he checked. He did check it because he, he was right. Because yeah, football over. Football, football over. Illinois, Indiana tomorrow. Orange and blue. Fighting line eye. You know, we've been giving a little grief. But what's happening right now? But, you know, you got to give line eye credit, man. They, they're playing tough. You know, even the games they lose, they're playing tough. <coughs> they just got to keep a lead. You know, the games they lost, they have leads, but they just got to keep them leads. Well, he said Warren Carter's going to be the difference maker tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Now, he's leading the team in scoring, 13.2, 6.4 rebounds a game. Sean Pruitt at 11.6, has seven rebounds a game. Rich McBride, that is he's the difference maker. He has got 10 to. points a game. This is when your senior comes up, man. This is when the senior say, hey, look, my last year, I'm a, uh, hey, you guys grab my shirt tail. I'm going to take us there. And that's what they're trying to do. Last game, Illinois played Northwestern up in Evanston, mm-hmm. 58-43. Line I came away with a victory. Right. Jamar Smith. Jamar Smith, 13 points. He's starting to get the jump. And I said last week, can you have a jumpless jump shot? I think he probably hurt you. I think he did. Think he a little inspiration you. from telling like it is. I think he probably hurt you. Give us a call, 328-8280, UPTV, Channel 6. Calls, tell it like it is. Yep. Illinois taking on Indiana. Now, right now, Illinois, as I said earlier, this is a swing game. Right. Swing game in terms of where they get back into the the race to get into the NCAA tournament. You got a good chance. Their only quality win this year is against Indiana. This could be two. You know who I'm surprised hasn't called us yet? ONG. He's a big Hoosier fan. Still early. Still, Still early. early. Yeah, I agree. And you know, if Illinois beat Indiana, Indiana could be in, in, in real serious trouble as far as getting to that look dance, too, if it comes down to that Big Ten tournament. Right, and I'll tell you why. Excellent point about Indiana. They've got seven games left in right. the conference. And of those seven, four on the road, Indiana still got to go to Purdue, Michigan, Michigan State, and Northwestern. The only home games they have left. After the Illinois game, they've got Minnesota and Penn State at home. Indiana's got a that Purdue game and that Michigan State and the Michigan State game, those three. Right. Flip a coin on that. It's going to be something, man. It's going to be tough. Iowa, they're fluctuating around Big Ten right now. Ohio State and Wisconsin, 
League of their own. League of their own. Yeah, leave them cats alone. Nope. And I'm glad they're off the schedule. schedule. We don't have to touch them no more. Woo! Call them. What you want to talk about? Tell like it is. What's up, Joe and Johnny Dollar? Oh, what's happening? Man, I feel like, you know, we were at a seance. I told you. And, and when you say I something. Told you it was early. And we raised the dead. OMG! I told you it was early. OMG! This is OMG. Oh, the ghost. Of who's your past? Man, I know your team's playing tomorrow. Go ahead and give us a score and let me hear this. Well, let me tell you something. Illinois is about to visit the real assembly hall. Okay? It's only one assembly hall in the Big Ten, and it's in Bloomington. It's in Bloomington, huh? Okay. And when they come over, we 12 and 0 at home. We'll be 13 and 0 after tomorrow. All right, now. Larry just called in and said, Illinois by four on the road. Warren Carter, the difference maker. Who's going to be the difference maker for the Indiana Hoosiers? Kelvin Sampson. The coach. Coaching them up. Coaching them up. Wow. Coaching them up. DJ White, the freshman they got. Uh, uh, not a Strickland, but a Ratliff. And, and Rod Wilmot. Hmm. So you saying the coach's moves he makes is going to be the key of the game? Oh, the coach definitely, because we're going to we're going to run this one for Sam. Okay. okay, so he's going to have coach uh, Weber and 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 and, uh, and be victorious in Bloomington, huh? But you know he got, time, a he got a point. When you play at the crib, man, you, undefeated. You give yourself when you're at home. You go into the game with a ten point lead automatically. Telling you, man. When you come in as the road team, expect to be down 10. That's right. So, Illinois keeps the game close in the first half. They've got a shot. But the key is the first five minutes of this game. Yep. Tell it like it is. ONG, appreciate you calling. Thanks, man. Take care. All right. 328-8280. And Bloomington, man. Phone lines are still open. Their gym is so, it seems like the people are on you. You know what I mean? Who's your... I think, Mania. I think Bob Knight put that in his cell. You know, I mean, move them bleachers in there. I want everybody close to me when I cuss this kid out. Slap him on. Hit Bob somebody him. with a chair. Bring him in here. You know, that's what we ought to do on the show. What? Just throw a chair. Man, don't do that. We, this ain't our building. We just using this. Oh. Man, we we right around the corner from the jail. I ain't oh, trying that's to right, get the police. Man, the police right over there. Get in. Sorry. You know what I mean? 328-8280. Tell it like it is. We're just going to talk sports. We ain't throwing no chairs. Anything y'all want to talk about, bring it on. NASCAR starts tomorrow. Daytona 500. Man, if any NASCAR people out there. I know they are. Give us a call. Educate us a little bit on this NASCAR. Who's your driver? Who's going to, is Tony Stewart going to beat somebody up? Does Tony Stewart, does he ride on 20s or 22? No, he don't ride. I think he got some dubs. Is on that what the 20s stand for? Might be. Tony Stewart on 20s. Let's see if we got a caller. Caller. Tell it like it is. What's happening? Yeah, yeah, this is Mike. Hey, Mike. Tell it like it is, Mike. Uh, yes, uh, the fighting line, I need to change their name because there's no fight left in them guys. They can't fight their way out of the paper bag, and Indiana will roll all over them. 13 0. Woo, Mike. And you serious with your. You, that was a serious little comment right there. You for real, ain't you? Mike, give us the, 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 the X Factor tomorrow game against. The Hoosiers over in the Assembly Hall. Why do you think they won't be able to fight out that wet paper bag? DJ White will be all over those guys. DJ mm. White. Now, you know what? Big kid. He is, and he's been playing. You know, DJ White hurt his foot sophomore year, red shirt. People were wondering how he's going to come back this year. Beast. And by the line, I will finish no higher than fifth seed in the Big Ten. And there's only 11 teams in the Big Ten. And Illinois will be the fifth seed. Right now, he's, we already talked about Wisconsin. And Ohio State, you're one and two. One and two. Indiana could be your three. Could be. Iowa could be your four. Yay. Yeah, Mike's done his homework. Mike, anything else you want to add on tomorrow's game? Tell it like it is. Pardon me, I didn't understand you. I said you want to add anything else to tomorrow's game, Illinois and Indiana? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Bruce Weber needs to be a better recruiter. Better recruiter. We're going to get to that. I'm glad he brought that up. Mike, you hit us next week. Friday, 7 o'clock, 328-8280. Tell it like it is, UPTV, Thanks for Channel calling, 6. Man. Thanks for calling, Mike. All right, thanks, guys. Take right. care. Recruiting. He hit the nail on the head. 
I know if you want to call in and talk about the Illinois Indiana game, you can hit us 328-8280. Recruiting football. Ron Zook. Wow. The fighting Illini have a top 10 recruiting class coming in to the University of Illinois. They were accused of cheating. Why not? Everybody else getting accused of cheating. But explain to me this. What evidence does the national media or I'm going to go right to the, the source, Notre Dame, <laughs> Charlie Weiss, what do they have on the fighting line eye to make the accusation? Because Ron Zook, Loxley, those guys have gone out there right. and busted their butts on the recruiting trail and brought in some of the top flight high school football players in the nation. They're coming here. They're staying home, and they've reached into football bastions like Florida, D.C., California. Mm -hmm. They've kept the kids out of Chicago mm -hmm. and in-state kids right here. Illinois football recruiting. Mm -hmm. Tell it like it is. They're hot, man. It's going to be a good team. I think they're, well, they're going to be a better team. Yeah. And I think it's going to show when they go to that battle of the border. You know what I mean? That's right. when it's going to really come out. And I think that's a trip. Tell it like it is. Should be on. We got tickets to the border war, Illinois, Missouri. I have not. No. <sighs> Something's got to happen. Well, we got time for that. Yeah, we, we do. We got time. Because that game's time. Sept August, yeah. September. I just got Illinois, in. Missouri. Yeah. Just let me know early because I got to put in my paperwork at the job because they won't let me off. Seriously. You can put it in now. I got comp. I got confidence in Stack. She'll get the tickets. I hope somebody out there that's watching job look for me. I need that. What day is that? Uh, I don't know. I, haven't, I need haven't that day off. Yeah. yeah, whatever that day right. is. Whatever that day is. Whatever that day is, he yeah. needs that right. day off. Mm -hmm. He needs that day off right. so we can go to the Border War. Border Wars. Illinois, Tell it like it is. J&J, &J, we got to go. Now, you take Juice Williams and some of the other top recruits that came in here. Then wasn't W's on the board mm -hmm. last year. It will be. But they competed. Yeah. It wasn't like, you know, you came in here the past couple of years and just ran Illinois off the field. The freshmen competed. They got a year of experience under their belt. Now you got this top 10 recruiting class coming in to solidify the foundation that was right. built last year. Right. I'm looking at Illinois going six and five. Wow, that's big time, man. Six and five. You give good talent, you believe you'll look like a better coach. That's it. You know, I'm telling you, you get good talent. Just like Zook did for the for the Florida champions. Florida Gators. You get good talent, you look like a better coach. 20 of the 22 starters, Ron Zook recruited mm -hmm. for the Florida Gators. And what did they become? World champs. They're the champs. They're, They're the champs. champs. They're National champions. champions. They are the champions. You know. You know what we're going to do, man? Take a little break. Mm -hmm. Where we going? At radio station again? Yeah, they're going to show a little snippet of talking mm -hmm. sports. Right. WBCP 1580. But then when we come back from the break, we're going to do a little hodgepodge, potpourri, mix it up, a little basketball. You know, we talk Illinois sports. We mm. talk Illinois. We talk football and basketball. We talk a little basketball in terms of NBA, the college ranks, now that the season, you know, getting close to March, mm -hmm. a couple weeks away. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, so definitely. after we take this break, we'll see what's going on. Tell it like it is, UPTV. You can still call us. we got a few minutes left to show, 328. 8280. NASCAR fans, we. Man, let me put this hat on. That's probably why we didn't get. Man, you take the hat off. You really messed up. Every time I put the hat on. Man, every time you put the hat on, you just probably sending more NASCAR fans away. If you're a NASCAR fan, call us. And tell me how ridiculous he looking that turn hat. Turn around. Tell like it is. UPTV. Yeah, okay. Come on. I'm telling you. Good afternoon, sports fans. It's time for another edition of Talking Sports. Right. Indiana Pacers guard Jamar Tinsley and teammate Marcus Daniels and Keith McLeod. McLeod, yeah. McLeod were involved in a fight. Wait a minute. Indiana Pacers at a bar and a fight broke out? fight broke out. I can't believe that. He broke out with the bar manager after a home loss to Golden State early Tuesday, police said. No one was immediately arrested and charged. Police are still investigating the fight. The police reported that the bar manager of the Eight Second Saloon. <laughs> the Eight the eight Second, second saloon. saloon. Is that in Dodge City? I don't know. It might as well be. Give me a shot of red eye. Eight Second Saloon. How did he come up with it? 
<laughs> because what they're usually eight, what can happen in eight seconds. Usually a fight breaks out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, the bar match. He might have a fractured jaw and a severed earlobe. And Tyson, Tyson must be there. Right. <laughs> Ain't good to do here. All right. He told officers that Tinsley had threatened to kill him. The report said witnesses told officers that McLeod had shoved people during the scuffle. The manager and witnesses told officers Tinsley, Daniels, and a man then punched the manager in the face and head. The manager stated that he was unable to defend himself, at which time both witnesses stated that they felt that the man's life was in danger. He's taking a beat down. Taking a beat down. Of course his life's in danger. And of course we all know Tilly was at a strip club with then Pacer teammate Stefan Jackson in October when a fight broke out during which Jackson fired a gun into the air several times before he was hit by a car. Whatever it became. I don't know what we talking about anyway. Tilly was not charged during that fight, but Jackson faced criminal recklessness and other charges. Jackson has pleaded no contest. The Pacer organization know all about this. I think Tinsley will be charged this time. Well, here's what, here's what I understand. You're the police. You walk into the bar. Your bar manager's face is swollen and his ears hanging off. We need to investigate this a little further to figure out what happened here. Right. What about them three brothers who just walked out the door? Once, once again, preferential. Jumping in a SUV, rolling out of here. Mm -hmm. You know, but now, Tinsley and them can't come to no more parties. No. Because now they got the label. You know how back in the day when you were at a party and, and they certain brothers show up yeah, and they're like, oh. Yeah, here, here go the party. Oh, here comes Jamal and them. He ain't ready to start you know, something. something. Why y'all come up in here? Won't you shut up, punk? Yeah, and then they think, you know, fight start. Eight seconds alone. There you go, man. It's Hey, we'll be back right after these messages. You take it, Double E. What we gonna talk about? Talk about Logan. Crossing over. Crossing over. I used to cross some cats over back in my day, man. Man, I'm telling you, I had hair afro. I had an afro, right? I had an afro. Well, no, it was a Jerry curl. Yeah, afro. I used to cross them over, man. I was mean. Okay, so let me ask this I question. I got some Georgetown Buffalo fans watching this. I was doing them cats. My question to you is this. Did you leave the activator in a little too long? Because the Jerry curl is gone. Well, did you ever have a... Did, did oh, I had some hair, too, now. And I, this is by choice. Okay. Right. I can, you need another choice. No, no. You need to do another choice. Well, you and the choice you Seriously. need. Seriously. And the choice you need to stay off of. Put the armor all bottle down because the shine is a little too heavy tonight. Thank you. Crossover. A little basketball. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Try to insult me on my show. Tell it like it is. Yeah, you need another choice. NBA. What's wrong with Brian Cook? Hey, he's a bum. If, that's, that's been all day. He's a who is Brian Cook? Please tell the, the, the viewing audience if they don't know what's going on. Brian, Brian Cook, Cook went, off, went off. Lost his mind. Went off. On the Lakers bench. Not just on the Lakers bench, to a six time world championship Chicago Bulls ex coach, and Bill a, Jackson. And a three time. Los Angeles Laker championship, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, head coach. Tell like it is. Tell him what happened. Man, Cook is upset because he's not getting no playing time. Mm -hmm. So Phil asked him to go in the game or of that sort. He gets in the man's face, takes his shirt off, and throws it in his lap. Who is Brian Cook? He's no D. Will. No, he's not. I mean, come on, people. Brian now, Cook was an excellent ball player here. Here. Here, University of Illinois. No disrespect to Cook and what he did here in the NBA. But you know what, man? Here's, here's what gets me. Cats like Brian Cook mm -hmm. making probably, what, 500000 a year. Brian Cook is making 
He's a he's a he's making millions. Okay, he's making millions. That's even worse. He's making millions. Okay, and here we are doing a tell it like it is show, and we make and we work up every morning, go to our jobs and work, and I mean put it down, work, and then these cats are making all this money, and tripping about playing time, playing time, throwing, walking these shoes. I bet you you'll be ready to sit on the bench. <laughs> I, know, I know he could walk in them shoes. No, he could. These are Hard Davidson boots, man. Don't, right. Don't, don't, I, I, hey, no disrespect HD, to the HD. Hey, no disrespect to the HD. Joe, we got to call him, man. See what they own. Tell like it is. 328-8280. Pull the lever. Hello, uh, Joe and uh, Dollar Bill. This is uh, Double A. Double to the AA. What's up, man? Western Dollar Bill. What's, What's up with the uh, Harley Davidson shirt? Why come you don't got no bear gear on? Well, I had bear gear on last week, you know, double A, and man, you know, I gave it away to charity, man. So I mean, are you giving your team away to charity yeah, now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, hey. Double A, the shirts were going for half price on Monday, so, you know, he couldn't get full value for what he had on. Yeah. Well, I got rid Putting of the my bear shirt. in the first place. I got rid of my Bears jersey, and I had an old Raggedy Steelers jersey I got rid of. <laughs> nah, you need to keep those because uh, you might have to wear one of them next year for the Super Bowl <laughs> champion. So you better beware. The Bears won't be there. Look out for them Steelers. They're coming back, baby. He's a Steelers fan, y'all. Just in case you didn't know, he's a Steelers. The caller is a Steelers fan. They Super Bowl champions and didn't even make it to the Playoff. playoffs. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's bad. Double A, let me ask you a question real quick. The uh, fight the line, I go to Indiana. What they go to? Oh. What's happening in the ball? 12 o'clock. Hoosiers. Alana, give us a score. Uh, let's go with uh, 79-64, Indiana. 79-64. So you think the Hoosiers are going to put a 15-fop right. on Illinois' forehead right all right up in here? All right there. And up in there and there. So who's the X Factor? Uh, DJ White will be a factor this time. DJ White again. Right. That's big, but you know he's big man on campus. You know he walk around all week. Man, you got to get them cats. All uh, right, just cool you know? out. I got them, bro. But do you hear me? I got them, bro. But you know what they did. I bro. got them, bro. They did us over there. We doing them here, man, bro. Man, I'm telling you, DJ, man. man. Hey, man, why don't you go to your chemistry class? Man, but D. Can, can, I, can I get some money? You got any money? Uh, let me holler at Coach. See? Thanks for calling, Hank. <laughs> Double A. All right, you guys, take it easy. All right, bro. Tell it like it is. Yeah. We only got a couple minutes left in the show, so if you're sitting at home and you're hesitating, because I don't, here's the crazy, I'm, I'm, I got to look in the camera and say this. Hey, don't get too close. First of all, I want to say thank you to all the people who've been watching. We only been on one week. Last week, did the Super Bowl special. Great. And all the compliments we got from the community about the show. Yep. Big thumbs up. And I got thumbs. I got thumbs. That's one combined. Thumbs up. But number two, a lot of people who we ran into said, I was going to call you, but I was scared. I don't know. Call in anyway. Credit union, call in. 328-8280. Hey, I'm talking to you. If you want to call and talk about what. Anything. You see all this. Anything. You know what I mean? You know, that was like a telethon. Like Jerry Lou. Jerry Lou. Please call. You was, uh, well, who are you, the Lou Ross? <laughs> you will never find. You know. But uh, thanks, everybody, again. Oh, the phone was ringing, though. Thanks, everybody, again, for telling like it is. They cutting us off. I'm Johnny Dollar. I'm Big Joe. I don't want to go. Man, we got to go. We got to go. Hey. We got to go. Big up, Colts. Bears, you'll be back. NASCAR. Grossman, you got to go. Hey, folks at Lids. Grossman, you got to go. Folks at Lids. Grossman, you got to go. Folks at Lids. Illinois, you. Indiana. Oh, North Carolina. Illinois, Indiana. <laughs> Do it. Do it, Illinois. We got to go, man. We got to go, man. We're going to eat. We're going to go eat. Oh, no. Where you want to go eat, man? Oh, let's go. Uh... Oh, no, let's get some. I'm feeling like some shrimp. Shrimp. Shrimp on the Barbie.
You are watching a master at work. Work, oh. work, work, work. You ready? Let's go. The Bears. Hey, who we thought they were? And they didn't get let off. Bye bye. Hey. This is Jay and Jay Sports live TV every Friday at seven o'clock. But we got a super special bowl edition. What day? Cut. <laughs> a super, super special bowl. Special.